Hello everyone, it's me Mr Gowlett, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be reading a story called, I know you can't see it because the words are the opposite way around, but hopefully the pictures you can see. And this one is called Freedom for Prometheus. Now if you remember last time he was actually, as you can see there, tied up on the cliff, so we shall see what happens to it. Even the gods grow wiser as they grow older. Almighty Zeus, king of the gods, looked down one day from Mount Olympus and saw Prometheus still chained to his rock, condemned forever to be tortured by eagles. Zeus felt a kind of shame, because it is shameful for the strong to bully the weak. And he felt a kind of pity, because it is sad to see a father kept from his children, an artist kept from his handiwork. And he felt a kind of admiration. Oops, hey Daisy, Mr Gallus just dropped his book on the floor. <laughs> Not just for Prometheus, for enduring his pain, but for the little men and women Prometheus had made out of water and mud. If he had not given them the gift of fire, how could there be fires burning now on a thousand altars throughout the world, raising up holy, sweet-scented smoke to heaven? For all they were cheeky and ugly, and caught cold, and grew old, and stole, and quarrelled, and made mistakes, and died, there were heroes and heroines among those men and women. So Zeus broke Prometheus's chains with pliers of lightning and wrapped the eagles in whirlwinds and spun them away to the four corners of the world. And Prometheus was free once more to champion the little people of the world whom he had made out of water and mud. So, that was a very, very quick story, but that was a nicer ending uh, to Prometheus. So uh, Zeus obviously felt bad about him being on there. And so, even though some humans might not have been good, and they might have stole and quarrelled and made mistakes, Prometheus um, was, Zeus admired him, and so he decided to let him free. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I shall see you on Monday for more of a story time. Until then, goodbye, everybody.